Tonight, we're learning more about the solution one community group is proposing to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. They believe this would reduce violent crimes across the city. On your side, Atia Collins was at their news conference this morning. And <clears throat> excuse me, Atia, she is at a church right now live. And Atia, what is the solution that this group has? Well, leaders with Eye Care, which is the Interfaith Coalition for Action, Reconciliation and Empowerment, say that the Sheriff's Office needs to reassess their current group violence intervention programs, which this community organization believes are just not working. Now, I was at a press conference earlier today downtown with the group. They talked about these group violence intervention programs, which bring together law enforcement, social services and community groups to offer services to people who have fallen into a life of crime. Now the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office does already have these programs. They were introduced to the city in 2016, but since that time, I care leaders point out that murders have averaged over 100 every year. Now, I care says GVIs have worked to reduce crime in other cities, and they believe more partnerships and awareness could make Jacksonville's GVIs successful. They want JSO to contract with the National Network for Safer Communities for an assessment on how to make their programs better. It's everyone coming to the table to work on this together and not just like one little piece in silos. And it is that coming together that creates the reduction in the violence in other cities. Now, I was able to talk with leaders here at JSO about these GVI programs, and they told me that just last week, the sheriff met with members from the national network, that JSO continues their partnership, and that they continue their work through their GVI programs. However, as far as a assessment, that answer unclear at this time. The eye care group says the assessment will cost anywhere from between thirty to $80,000. Reporting in Jacksonville, Tia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.